This is my reflection window. A minimalist believes that uh, they don't need really anything in order to be fulfilled in life, and so as a result, they, they survive on essentially nothing of uh, uh, superficial value. Uh, the differences between a minimalist and a non-mini-mim, as we call them, uh, well, we, we don't require as much, uh, so I don't have a TV, I don't have a computer, um, I don't have uh, any sort of uh, utensils or cookware, uh, or an oven, a stove, a fridge. I do have a bathtub. So this is my Guantanamo Bay suite. I, I tend to, uh, you know, lie on the back and with the arms st stretched and kind of slowly elevate myself. You gotta be careful as the blood does really kind of rush to your skull pretty quickly. Are you alone in this minimalist lifestyle or do you have other people around you that also live as you do nearby perhaps? Do you, do you gather? Well, I think we can make one thing very clear. Uh, I am very, very alone. What the hell is that? Get off that! Do you find living in such an extreme way affects your work in the film industry? Absolutely, absolutely. I used to be someone who, who really liked to bring a lot of energy to the table. I, I liked to, oh, angry and all that kind of stuff. And people enjoyed it. But um, since becoming a minimalist, I've found that it's uh, much better to, to really bring as little as you can to the table. Uh, and I, I think I've accomplished that in my past few works. Thought I saw a plane.